not only if they continue this drive, but it will help them flip the field if they do have the punt. Time to throw. Beautiful pass and catch. Brandon Riley will turn it into a first down. The most dependable receivers for the Battle Hawks are the guys who line up in the slot. And I love the play call. Run it two times. Establish that you want to be physical. Play action pass. Wide open. Slant behind. It clears up those ones to establish the run. They're bringing more guys into the pocket. And it'll set up a second and long. And now if you're Dallas's defense, you feel like things are in your favor. Ready go. Bring an extra man, Tommy going deep again. Nice touch, and it is hauled in up the sideline. Alonzo Russell with the first down catch and a gain of 29. They went after Josh Hawkins at corner again. Alonzo Russell's a guy that's 6'4. He's a guy that you get close to the goal line. They want to throw balls up and him go get him. You can see the size. It's pretty good coverage. Great throw by Tomu to the outside of the receiver where only he can get it. And then that length of Russell at 6'4 brings the ball in on the sideline. A double move with the pump fake. Tomu drops it in a bucket there. This is your game day fit. This is your I'm not leaving the house today gear. This is not your proof and not your same old swag. This is for the love of football. Gear up at XFLshop.com. Inside two minutes, Dallas three, St. Louis nothing. Pat McAfee has football royalty on the sideline. Pat. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us now is the handsome NFL Hall of Famer, Troy Aikman. Troy, First down. XFL kickoff weekend here, 2020. What do you think? I think it's great. It's exciting to have football here in, you know, after the NFL season. I watched some of the games last night. Come here tonight, support my guy Daryl Moose Johnston and his team, the Renegades, and it's been fantastic. You said you're sitting in the box with him, getting a little inside information. He's the acting general manager, basically, for this team, for Stoops. What have you learned? Well, I, I've learned that it happens all really, really fast. You know, a 25-second play clock, which I love. I think, I think there are some things within this game. I think the kickoff is interesting. A lot of the things that the NFL is hoping to adopt, I think it's a chance to see how it is executed at this level. I think we might see some of it. The transparency of the refs and reviews, I like so, a lot. I would assume you agree in that type of thing. Will you see a transformation, you think, from the XFL rules to the NFL, and how quickly do you think that happens? Uh, I, I think we will, and, and it, it gives the NFL a chance to kind of see how it's adopted here in the XFL and, and, and how it's received and, and how it works and all those things. Dean Blandino, of course, he's being involved. Troy, geez, Troy, get out of the way, Troy. <laughs> You're gonna get me killed over here, aren't you? Troy's like 120 pounds right now. He looks incredible. How Last question how about, before I let you go. On it? <laughs> how about the uh, communications from the coach to all of the players on the offense? Do you think that's something the NFL should have done? I like it. I like it. Now, I was told it was not all the players, but most of the players. I'd like to see it adopted to all the players. I, I, I think it's somewhat of a game changer. I'd like to see the coaches be able to talk to the defensive players, all of them as well. I think. I think. Uh, I don't see any reason why that would be necessarily a negative. I think it's a, I think it's a real positive. So I like what I, you know. I think this league's got a real chance, and and uh, you're involved, so that that gives me hope. All right, Troy. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> Troy used to have an office in this stadium, and he has a restaurant across the street. Obviously, he owns this town. I will go visit Troy's. <laughs> Big thanks to Troy Aikman. Seems like everybody in the NFL game loyalty loves operator. the XFL. By the Just way, Pat, if you would have gotten Troy Aikman killed, your picture operator. would have been on every Please post office clock. in this entire state. Yeah, but why didn't Pat on the game protect clock. Troy? Hey, you hear those shots, you gotta run, Jody, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a game yeah. clock issue, so they need to put a little bit more time. There are 143. Separate two minute rules Thank in this you. comeback period. He doesn't get the delay now because it was administrative. So now we start it because they've already had that. Yeah, yeah. Clock's so supposed to stop after every up. play under two minutes. Yep, including the ones that finish inside the field of play. LaDamian Washington out of Missouri picks up the first down. Here's how it breaks down. Try to give the team that's trailing more time at the end of each half. If it ends in the field of play, the game clock will stop for the ball spot in a five-second runoff of the play clock, and then an incomplete passes and out of bounds. As usual, the game clock, game will clock stop operator. until the ball Please is reset the game clock like the 134. Game. 134 on the game clock, and the clock will start okay. on my signal. Okay. Play it pop Ready, go. in every single possession matters right now. Tamu, great catch. They say caught, and it's a first down on a pickup of 12. Alonzo Russell out of Toledo. Ready, 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 go. 
tempo for Ta'amu in St. Louis. In a swing, Pearson L takes it up the sideline and a first down for the Battlehawks. 13-yard gain. Pearson L was an All-American punt returner in Nebraska in 2014. Drops the punt. It's key for him to get the ball back in his hands to sort of erase that bad play and make a play. Now they've crossed the 50 again. Nothing else. Let's listen to both sides. Let's go 11, let's go H, bunch, right, 502. Tell them again, hey, tell them, to, tell them to rush, just straight rush up front, tell them to rush. Empty or all rain. That's Empty my favorite call I've ever heard. No, we're, we're good. It uh, sounds a little backyardish, doesn't it? It's just rushing. Third and goal, 11th play in the draft. H, bunch, there's your H in this bunch, and we'll see if the ball goes there. Tamu, looking in zone, back of it, it is... Touchdown! Caught! Touchdown, St. Louis! Alonzo Russell with a nine-yard strike from Tamu. Language, please, boys. St. Louis back in front. They're going to go for one. That was a dime, by the way, from Tamu. Pressure from the edge, Tom to the slant, that's good for a St. Louis first down and plenty more. Zamorne Pearson out to the 40, stays on his feet before he's taken down. And St. Louis goes into Dallas territory on a 39-yard run after the catch. And it's the second time they've called Soda. Soda is the quick pop behind the linebacker. You can see Pearson L coming across. Because they run the ball so well in this game, they run it for 172 yards. It opens up the middle pop pass behind the first time they ran it. The second time they hit Pearson L for a big play. Great role model for young receivers. And the oldest guys in this team. Play clock is already at two. And here's your why. They ran this play earlier. See if the why can get the outcut. Tom Great. Got him. First down, St. Louis. Remember they ran that play earlier and the why fell down? Yep. They're talking about getting the ball out. He gets this ball out on time in a tight window. This is a terrific throw. Tom has been different in this in this fourth quarter. These throws he's made until he's still in. That long run has changed everything for him, Joe. Two minutes. Two minutes. Got to. Taylor Heineke, backup quarterback, told him two minutes. Jonathan Hayes says, I got this. They will let the clock run out. We'll go to the two-minute warning here at opening weekend, the final game of the XFL weekend. The ball game. Time out. The underdog battle Hawks from St. Louis lead 15-9 with two to go. I'm with Coach Hayes down here on the side of the coach. First game as head coach, first XFL game. How do you feel with the squad? Hey, felt great, especially against one of the guy that brought me in the coaching box. He's a hell of a coach. He's got a hell of a team. But I'm just happy we came out on top. What did you like from Tuamu today? I liked the, the, his voice. I loved his voice, and he showed it. Hey, don't rub it in his face too much, coach. 